in understanding the evolution of democracy in Singapore, you can't avoid looking at history, how we started, and the circumstances that we were, we were, we were given as a country that wasn't meant to be. Uh, democracy has evolved. It has strengthened. Uh, and I believe it has to strengthen further. But let's not think uh, that the way to strengthen it further is to simply leave everything without restraint. It hasn't worked in the most advanced democracies, and it's not going to work especially in a diverse Asian society. But 80 of but your 87 parliamentary seats are taken up by the ruling party, Lee Kuan yes. Party. I mean, that's not healthy, is it, really? Yeah. It isn't. Um, if you look at Alberta, since 1971, you've had the same party in power, and today it controls 70 out of, what, 85 or something like that? In Canada, it's a democracy. thriving liberal democracy. But yours is a but one, one don't, don't hit too hard oh. a government that works very hard to do what is in the interest of the people and has a good track record. Okay. Right? Don't hit it too hard. Okay. And then, um, second, second question but I, but is, I, in Singapore, there isn't room to, so I, to, 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 to so, enjoy yeah. a few years of quote-unquote wildness. Right. Where, where, so, you can't, so unfortunately, there, 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 where's the creativity? Where's the chance so to kick back, think, there, and smoke something interesting? So there are two, <laughs> there, there are two parts to that question. First. Uh, you're free to be as wild and wanton and uh, take time off and uh, do what you'd like with your life, but you don't have to get state assistance for doing so. <laughs> That's the point. The point is, how do you, with a limited budget, whilst keeping tax revenues low, keeping spending low, how do you apply it most effectively? And I believe the best way to apply it is to reward personal responsibility. I've got nothing against take people taking time off. In fact, it's not a bad way to live your life, to take some time off from time to time. It, you re-energize yourself, you think of new ideas, you might switch jobs. But the unfortunate fact of the last 50 years is that governments that gave money without conditions, in other words, as long as you're unemployed, you get it, and you get it for an extended period, did not anticipate how it would change social culture. Unfortunately, social culture changes, and it changes in response to incentives, and we don't want that to happen in Singapore. The more serious point, though, is that it is true that developing Singapore into a more innovative society, which is what its future has to be, mm. does require a certain amount of free play of ideas, yeah at the level of the individual and groups of individuals. And we have to allow for that. And I don't think allow for that means we just mimic what the Bay Area in the United States is. We are a different society, but we've got to evolve. We've got to give more free play to the individual and to individual choices. They may be right or wrong choices, but people will learn with time. Well, if I may say so, that is a very interesting answer, and I just think your entire presentation has been fantastic. So we, I, apologies for me, because I've made you all late for lunch. It is now lunchtime, but ladies and gentlemen, before we go to lunch, just please give the warmest of